Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Friday of the fifth week of Lent. My friends, as we end near the end of the Lenten season and begin Holy Week, I'm struck very powerfully, both in my head and in my heart, by the terrible killings we have had to witness in the United States in this last week, first in Atlanta, Georgia, and then this week in Boulder, Colorado. And I keep asking myself when we will try to end this insanity in our country. Today we have readings that actually speak about the kind of tension and the kind of anxiety that we're experiencing in our country. We have readings from the prophet Jeremiah and from the Gospel of John in which both Jeremiah and Jesus are put to the test. They are both hassled. They are both tormented. They are both threatened to high degrees, and each of them has a very different reaction to the threat against them. Jeremiah's story is he believes that all of his friends are even turning against him, that they're trying to do him in, and he's very, very upset by that, and he prays to God to get even with them, and he asks God to even let him see the vengeance that God takes on them. It's not very inspiring to me. I think Jeremiah loses a few, a few uh, steps in my estimation by wanting to see that vengeance of the Lord. And I think uh, that we need not to imitate him. On the other hand, in the Gospel of Jesus, the Gospel of John, Jesus is threatened also. They're going to pick up stones to throw at him. And he asks why they're doing that. And they say, because you've blasphemed. You've claimed to be God, to be the Son of God. And then he, instead of getting angry with them and threatening them back, he says, but your own law says that you are gods. What he's saying is you too. You too are a child of God. He doesn't try to take vengeance on them. He tries to incorporate them. He tries to include them. He tries to bring them into the same level of holiness that he is experiencing in his union with God. It's a wonderful difference between what Jeremiah is saying and what Jesus is saying and offers us an option of choice of how we react to the troubles and the threats in our lives. My friend, I have a friend who told me a story last week about a a disconnect with one of his relatives for years. And after going to church all these days of Lent and praying and listening to the preachings, he's decided to reach out and reconcile with his relative and his reckon, rec, uh, relative responded beautifully. They decided to end the enmity between them and to start all over again. He wrote me of that in an email last week, and I wrote him back and I said, how good for you, how good for your relative, and how absolutely wonderful for God. My friends, that's the choice we have, and that's what Lent should be leading us toward We have the choice, and we can do as my friend did. As a matter of fact, more than can, we must do as my friend did. The readings today offer us a great choice. Let us choose to align ourselves with Jesus. God bless you.